Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I would like to help you understand how to estimate parameters for wiver survival analysis with covariates based on maximum likelihood method. Let me use ovarian data. Uh, there are two covariates, which are Rx and age. Let me show you how to do it in R first. So you can use survival library. So if you use a reg function, you need to specify distribution as YVU. Then you can get these outputs. You also can use EH library. So if you use Y reg function, then you can get these outputs. The main difference between two is actually the sign of uh, coefficients. So this is how to interpret uh, the result. In survival uh, library, if uh, the variable shows a positive sign of coefficients, then uh, actually Rx has got one, a value 1 and 2. So when a uh, value uh, 2 actually uh, has higher survival rate compared to value 1. And for age, it shows negative sign. So when getting age, the survival rate is decreasing when getting age. Right? So this is vice versa. So this is focuses on this uh, focus uh, focuses on hazard rate. So when uh, getting age, the hazard rate uh, is actually uh, increasing. And if you use this transform transformation, then you can get same outputs like in uh, survivor subreg function. There is another uh, function flexserve uh, flexserve reg function in flexserve library. Then you can get these estimated coefficients. Then let's also compare uh, EHA uh, outputs, right? Then uh, if we use this transformation, then you can get uh, same outputs. Right, let me show you how to do it in Excel, uh, secondly. So there is one good reference site I have used for this video. So the first thing is to transform a time variable by using row transformation. Then you can use this row likelihood function. There are two parts, green parts and purple parts. So green parts are related to uh, this part are related to events uh, observation, and the purple part is related to uh, sensor data. So let's uh, get x value. So log of time variable. Then uh, let's set uh, initial value from B0 to sigma. So this is the average uh, log of average of every time. I typically use this value as initial value because uh, in uh, Excel, actually Excel is very a little bit, uh, sensitive about initial value when you use server. So let's use 6 and 0, 0 and sigma uh, as 1 because uh, sigma cannot have uh, zero value. So z can be calculated by x minus b0 times b0 minus b1 times rx minus b2 times h over sigma Right, then uh, lower likelihood. So we need to think of uh, event a case and sensor case. So if FU stat equals one, then let's use G minus EXP of Z uh, minus log of sigma. If not, uh, minus exponential of z. Okay, then we want to maximize sum of log likelihood. Click server and set objective j7 cell and changing variable 
value this one uncheck this box and click serve let's try to click again server let's see whether it's changed or not or we changed okay let's try again okay so this is final uh, estimated value in Excel as you can see it's almost same as our output <clears throat> and the main difference is this bar sigma uh, so we, uh, in order to get this one uh, log scale so log of sigma right we can have same output so these are uh, estimated coefficients for viable survival analysis in excel I hope this video was useful to understand how to do it, how to do survival analysis in R, and also uh, uh, how to estimate uh, coefficients for survival analysis, a viable survival analysis in Excel. Please click like and subscribe if uh, it was useful for you. Thank you.